the last video in this video installment on editing includes figure formatting. There are many different types of graphs and images that can be used within your submission. Here's a few examples of some of the incorrect and correct guidelines being followed. Very common errors that we see when people submit to us. First off, if there is a word that has a symbol, please insert the symbol manually in your Microsoft Word using the insert tab and the symbol function, as opposed to spelling out the word theta or degree. Our journal guidelines prefer that you insert the symbol itself in the graph. Additionally, please also make sure that the font used is Arial as opposed to another font. If you notice the font here is different than the font that's listed here. The font that's listed on the access labels will match the figure formatting of your figure caption in Arial font format. To the next image, on the left-hand side, we have the access labels with their units of measurements placed beside. To properly format these, please place the unit of measurement in parentheses as opposed to using a forward slash mark, as this can imply division and create confusion. Additionally, if you have text along the y-axis, please be sure it is flipped horizontally to the right direction and ensure that you use sentence case capitalization for your access labels. In the image on the left, strength is not capitalized, whereas in the image on the right, strength is capitalized. As we continue, this image here has quite a few errors. First of all, we have the sentence capitalization along the access labels that needed correcting, as well as the font format. The font format should be an Arial bold size 10 font that means no SimSum format should be used. On the left here is an example of the, pop, the popular symbol for temperature, degrees Celsius, and SimSum font. I have also written this down here to show an example of the difference. Notice the spacing between characters for two characters for SimSum font. When using Arial, the letters and symbols are closer together. So on the left hand side here, we're using the incorrect font format, and on the right hand side, we have the correct font format. Additionally, the legend should be edited as well. Ensure that there is a space between numer numerical values and units of measurement. On the left-hand side, this was not the case. In the right-hand side, the authors have added the space between numerical values and units of measurement. On access labels, please ensure that there is a space between the access label and the unit of measurement. So here we have the access label with a nice space before the unit measurement in parentheses, and the same goes for the x-axis label in this image. Another example here is where comma was used to separate before the unit of measurement. Again, we use parentheses to put the units of measurements with a space between the access label. Ensure that the font is the correct size and sentence case capitalization or title case capitalization, which means capitalizing each important word along the access, ensure that your access labels formatting match. If you use title case, capitalize all words along the access. If you use sentence case, capitalize the first letter on the access label. In this image, we have another example of where the degree symbol was not used and instead a superscripted zero was used. Here is the example where the superscripted zero was used throughout. You can tell in the newly formatted image that the, zero, the degree symbol is now used. Notice how the superscripted zero appears at a different height and a different size than the, the degree symbol being used. Again, on this image, which is the incorrect submitted image, there's no space between the access label and unit of measurement. In the corrected image, if we scroll below, you'll notice there is a space between the access label and unit, that there's a space between the unit of measurement and numerical value, and that the correct symbol for degree is used. The access labels are bolded, whereas the first image, they were not bolded. And that concludes our quick tips editing videos.